Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another five box break of 2022 Bowman Draft Sapphire. Um, random team break number eight with an early bird spot giveaway. If you're one of the first 16, you get a chance at an extra spot. So big thanks to the first 16 here. Got a chance at an early bird spot. Name on top after three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and four. Congrats to Brandon. Thanks for being an early bird. You have caught the worm, which is an extra spot in this break. All right, so now let's gather everybody's names here and we're gonna randomize you a team. All teams are in. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams, three into three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chris down to Joe. Put the results in the other tab. Three and a three, six the hard way. Teams two, three, four, five. Good luck, sixth and final time. We got the Rays on the bottom, Astros up top. After six, here's how it shakes out. Chris Butler, last spot mojo, Astros. Marissa, Red Sox, Jonathan, Guardians, Jacob, White Sox, Daniel with the Blue Jays, Chris with the Tigers, Daniel with the Brewers, Drew with the Reds, Richard with the Cardinals, Chris with the Yankees, Joe with the Phillies, Bennett with the A's, Daniel with the Diamondbacks, Chris with the Cubs, Jose with the Rockies, Chris with the Mets, Joe with the Mariners, Chris with the Angels, Drew with the Giants, Justin with the Orioles, Jacob with the Braves, Chris with the Royals, Brandon with the uh, Brandon Swim with the Twins. Brandon Dubinsky with the Padres with your early bird spot. The Rangers with the spot you got straight up. Justin with the Pirates. Chris with the Nationals. Marissa, you got my Dodgers. Bennett with the Marlins. And Joe Smo, Tampa Bay Rays. Let's alphabetize by team. We're going to pause video just for a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here on a, on a Chew Tuesday. Random Team 8, so the list you saw previously remains the same. D'Lo feeling a uh, pap para, papa, the papada, papadia, papadia for somebody. A pad per... I have no idea how to say it. Is it Pad Para Pad Parasha? Oh, hard, tough time with that word. Uh, yeah, pa Nick Papagior Papa Giorgio? Papa Giannis? Papa Giannis? Papa Johns? Petros Papadakis? That's how I kind of want to say it, Gilo. Gaze is pronounced Papa John's Pizza. Petros Papadakis is, some of you may know Petros. If you're in LA, you definitely know Petros. Has a popular radio show here, was a tailback for USC back in the day, and does, uh, does some colored commentary for college football. And our first parallel is Jacob Misurioski, six out of 50. Green for the Brew Crew, D'Lo, Daniel, with that one. There's Tamar Johnson and a Brian Acuna Jr., 97 out of 99. Twins, that will be for Brandon Swim, Swim Twin. Ronald's brother. Tamar Johnson will go to Justin and the Pirates. Yar. When is National Talk Like a Pirate Day? There is a day. There is a, there is such a day. I just don't know where it is. When it is.
Fall? It's somewhere in the fall? Not Halloween, though. National Talk Like a Pirate Day. How annoying would it be if on that day, if I'm breaking that day, if I talk like a pirate the whole day? How old would that get? After the first break? <laughs> Maybe if I do it just for breaks, maybe in between I'll talk normally. 71 out of 99, Tanner Scoble for the Twins, for Brandon S. Second round pick. And then we got Jordan Sprinkles, 15 out of 50. Only talking when I want to pull an O'Neill Cruz. Okay, maybe that makes sense. Maybe just for Pirates cards, maybe? Yar, here be a Pirate. Here be Tamar Johnson. We hope this landlubber will end up being a perennial all-star. Yar. <laughs> a Pirate. There we go. We got Pirate jokes here from Daniel. A Pirate walks into, I've heard this one, into a bar with a steering wheel Stuck to his lap. And he says, she, she says to the bartender, Arr, it's driving me nuts. That's a good one. How much do I have to lean into the pirate? If I end up doing that pirate bit, should I get like a... Should I get a, a patch, an eye patch, maybe some sort of pirate hat? The, the Raider logo is indeed a pirate. The Autumn Wind is a Raider. Someone's going to get offended. People get offended by a lot of things. Rex, you can't live your life afraid of offending people. Pirates don't exist anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to offend real pirates of the Caribbean from the 1700s. There's Elijah Green, fifth overall pick. Chris Butler, Nationals. Eight out of 15, Alex De Jesus. Nice. Toronto. Daniel. D load. Just dress how I would at Raiders games. It's true. Like a pirate. There's Brenner Cox. 61 out of 99 for this Cox. This Cox. Bowman first. How big is this Cox? Brenner Cox is 6'3", 195. Decent sized Cox. Brenner Cox, that is. Well, Connor, not pirates as, as we know them. Like the pirates of the Caribbean are not real today. They, they were real, I guess, back in the day. Whoa, Rex, get, get your mind out of the gutter. 61 out of 99 for Brenner Cox. Come on, man. What are we, 12? 69. Come on, man.
All right, onwards. I got an orange Jake Bennett, 10 out of 25. Nationals, Chris Butler. And then we got 85 out of 99, Caden Wallace. Caden William Wallace. I can fight. I know, I know he can fight, but it's our wits that make us men. First, learn to use this, then I'll teach you to use this. That's your Uncle Argyle. That movie still stands up, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I think I saw that recently, maybe last few months, within the last few months. Did a rewatch. Uh, obviously, as we know by now, the historical accuracy of that movie is to be desired, but it's not a documentary, but a, uh, a great action picture. Holiday. It would be, it would be so nice. Justin Weber, the first overall pick. Matt Sun, Jackson Holiday. We got Tanner Schobel. 16 out of 25, another twin for Brandon. Oh, no, 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 Connor, you're misunderstanding me. Sc Scottish, Scottish people are real. Uh, the Adventures of William Wallace, as told by the movie Braveheart, is, uh, plays, plays fast and loose with the facts. But William Wallace is real. Uh, well, Jurassic Park wasn't really historically accurate either, but a great movie that still holds up. Jurassic Park wasn't intending to be historically accurate, Rex, because that's from a fictional book, Silly Goose. Braveheart is based on William Wallace, an actual, an actual person that a lot of people, you know, sometimes may think when you're making a movie about a historical person, sometimes people think that to be the truth. All right, folks. That's that. That was Sapphire. Next break's from a half case from a fresh case. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. We'll talk some more Braveheart with you next time. Bye-bye.